design meeting went great. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. It's been a really crazy few weeks. I took a social media break, which I penciled in with my team because I had such a crazy holiday season. Like, I've never posted that many ads in my life. But that's like when brands are spending money. So it's definitely a good thing to be really booked during the holidays. Obviously, it's one of my jobs. I feel like I'm in such a routine with social media, but I feel like I was so busy during that week off which made it even harder because I just wanted to like share with you guys and I just wanted to like vlog and and then when I came back from my break I was like in the middle of the first day of work here for Dairy Boy like officially meeting a lot of my new team finding an office for Dairy Boy and just like a million other things obviously I am a vlogger like I make videos for a living I make content for a living like, I'm a vlogger and I'm a YouTuber, but I'm also a business owner. There's really like two versions of me. Page on like the business side in the office, and then there is like the vlogging page. And it's really important to me to create a professional work environment. And obviously so many parts of my job are just so different. Like my vlogging job, which is like content and videoing myself and running around with a camera. And that's not always like the vibe in the office. Not that they wouldn't support me vlogging, it's just, different so I was really happy with like the update video which some of you guys may have seen if you haven't seen it you should go check it out just like what I've been up to in LA I had a really exciting photo shoot yesterday for a lot of different press that is gonna be coming out very soon so that was really fun and then yesterday I actually also went to the dentist's office I don't know if you guys can notice I feel like you can I'm on my high-def camera but guys I dissolved some of my lip filler that was actually like the first, one of the first things I did when I got to LA. And I think I want to dissolve more. I didn't dissolve all of it because I didn't want it to be like super shocking and I didn't want to dissolve all of it. Go to Australia and then be like, fuck, I need this filler back of my lips. Have to go somewhere janky in Australia. Like it would just be not good. But I got some of my lip filler dissolved and I already feel so much more confident. I definitely am not super into the look anymore of like the lip filler that I used to get, which is just like really big. The older I get, the more I'm just like, this isn't cute. So I dissolved a little bit. I still need to dissolve more, but I want to bring you guys to that appointment when I get back from Australia. We will do that together. But then if you had noticed my smile might be looking like fuller a little bit. So I made a video a few weeks ago where I was like, I want to dissolve my lip filler get lip blush, and then get my bottom teeth done. I have a really amazing dentist here in LA. I went to him and I wanted to talk about the fact that I like grind my teeth really badly. Also like my jaw pops in and out. I wanted to talk to him about my bottom teeth, which were really, really crooked. Never like showed them because it was something that I was pretty insecure about. Then I wanted to have like a fuller smile. Okay, I've been sitting here chatting for like 30 minutes and Olivia and I are driving to work together and she's like, we gotta go. But anyways, also I have really sensitive teeth. So whitening isn't an option for me and my teeth were like kind of like stained and like this color that was was just not that great so yesterday I literally got this done like literally yesterday I'm really really happy with it I feel a lot more confident with like less lip filler and like a full smile so just really excited about that it's more natural looking to have like smaller lips and a nice smile and I'm just happy that like this is a direction that I'm going in to feel confident not like getting more lip filler but anyways I need to grab my bag and we need to go this is gonna be a little productive workday vlog lots to do so let's get into it Olivia and I are not used to commuting to work it's weird this it's this is a big adjustment it is a big adjustment. go down to the desktop Olivia and I have only worked or we're only used to working out of um, my house and we normally spend like half of the day I feel like in our pajamas <laughs> Um, a nice sweat set. A nice, a nice sweat set, yeah, it depends on the day. Sometimes I would put a little outfit on. Okay, so we're on a little lunch break from the office. I wanted to quickly stop by our office that we're gonna be moving into when I'm back from Australia. I wanted to give you guys a little empty office tour while we're in the area because I thought that would be fun. We have a lot of plans for the office. We're gonna do like a kitchen, 
dining area and there's also gonna be like a little design corner, a content corner. We're gonna do like a little set, a conference room and then like a big farm style table. You guys will see all of it, I'll show you guys. But let's do a little empty office tour. in downtown LA. This is kind of like an Erewhon dupe, but they don't have an Erewhon downtown, just Hanks. And it literally is exactly the same. Like guys, look, even the hot bar is like an Erewhon dupe. It actually looks really good though. editing this vlog from today and oh my god did I fucking need chapstick this morning I'm editing the vlog like holy shit your lips are dry so I put on a lip mask definitely from being at the dentist's office took care of that grabbed some mint chocolate chip ice cream and now I'm gonna get cozy well I'm already pretty cozy and I'm going to watch Tommy's match not to like fully get into this topic because I really like my videos being lighthearted and positive and like I don't really talk a lot about mental health which maybe I, I should maybe I will in the new year but not to get like heavy on you guys but I used to struggle with binge eating I feel like a lot of girls struggle with binge eating um that's something I've never ever shared like I don't even think some of my friends really know that like the closest people in my life do, but a lot of people don't know that about me. I struggled with it pretty badly in New York and then I started to kind of like heal my relationship with food, especially when I got back into cooking. But eating like a whole thing of ice cream for me used to kind of be like a binge pattern or like behavior, like especially ordering Uber Eats, which I don't do in Connecticut besides like when I order pizza. But I'm just really grateful to be like in a much better place with food where like I'm gonna eat a little bit of this ice cream and then I'm gonna put it away. I can talk more about all that on another vlog because this is not about that, but I thought I would just say that because I was just thinking about that. So good. I'm really excited to watch Tommy's match. This is the first match of the year. And he's just like really excited 
and he's so cute. I'm so proud of him. Um, I just love being along for the ride, the good or the bad. But now that it's the start of the season, it's just there are going to be a lot of losses, a lot of tough losses, a lot of amazing wins, a lot of close matches, and it's just like all part of the sport. And I just think tennis is like the most beautiful, amazing, exciting sport. So I'm really honestly just excited to watch tonight. I think he's playing with literally really soon, so I'm going to log on. Um, let's see. When Tommy is up, I think he's up like any second. I really can't think of like a better night after like a really long day where I accomplished a lot. I vlogged, I had meetings, I had a really good interview. I had just like some really great meetings, creative meetings, and now I'm like by myself in a cozy sweatsuit eating ice cream about to watch Tommy play. This is my peak. So he's gonna start in five minutes. Also kind of crazy while we're waiting here. While I'm waiting here for Tommy's match to start. Um, so I'm staying in one of my friend's apartments in LA. Jordan Salone, some of you guys might follow her. She's gorgeous, great girl really sweet really talented does incredible makeup videos huge fan of hers and just she's a great friend i'm staying in her apartment in la and we actually met because i was selling all of my furniture on facebook marketplace she bought this couch from me when i was living in la she bought my cloud couch from me so crazy so like i'm sitting on right now like the couch that was in my old apartment in la really really crazy i was thinking about how cool it is that this is random, but you'd think that a lot of influencers, or I think people would assume a lot of influencers are like mean and competitive and like petty. And obviously some are. I've only really met two or three girls that were influencers that were horrible to me, but out of all of them, most of them are so nice and supportive. We have an influencer group chat that we're like always chatting and lifting each other up. And I'm just really grateful to have like such good friends in my industry. Like I get so excited when I see people get a big brand deal or whatever. It's just really cool to have friends in my industry. Cause I think, cause it's so around like vanity and beauty. You would think that it would be like overly competitive or, or like shitty sometimes, but it's really, really not. And honestly, everyone is like really friends. Okay, we are in business. Waiting for the walkout. First match of the season. Whoa, not the countdown. Okay. The drama. Well, Adelaide, I want you to make some noise because we've got two boxes. Hey, that's my man. Ah! Tommy Paul. Slay King. He's so freaking cute. All that I'm far just away from Adelaide certainly is a, a sudden Australian I'm so excited for Tommy. Like, I have butterflies for him. First match. <gasps> Can you guys believe, though? Like, I feel like I was just making a video about how we're in off season, right? I was like, off season. Psych. Mm -hmm. It starts again. Anyways, fingers crossed. Tommy is playing insane. Like insane! Yay!